Do we love the holidays? Who loves the holidays? I love it. Okay, some of us, yeah. Oh, it already fell. Oh, I thought that was gonna last so much longer. Oh, little <laughs> bitch, get out of here. <laughs> Um, I love the holidays. I do. The snow, the lights, everyone's sad. <laughs> I feel right at home. <laughs> sad, that is one word to describe me. Many words to describe me. Many adjectives. Another word to describe me would be buxom. <laughs> buxom, big breasted, big chested. That's what that means. I didn't know up until recently. I Googled it recently. And I saw that one of the synonyms to buxom was well upholstered. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fuckable futon. <laughs> Throw some velvet on me on the chase lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder my husband likes to sit on me and only keeps me in the living room. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I do have a husband, everybody. Give it up for my husband. Woo! We are in an nice. interracial relationship. Anyone else make some noise in an interracial relationship? Yeah! Ooh, okay. Yeah. Mix it up. <laughs> Mix it up. <laughs> uh, you know, it, uh, we, we are so happy together. And also our families. My family loves him, vice versa. We love each other, right? There's just one thing. <laughs> My family's dog fucking hates him. Oh, uh, I know. I know. I, it pisses me off. I hate it. We hate it. Oh, it makes me angry. Right? Because you want your dog to be your best friend, your companion, your air bud. <laughs> Not your Aryan bud. <laughs> Although when I turned 30, my witchy powers ascended. Mm, yeah. When I turned 30, a bunch of gray hair sprouted from the head. Two long black hairs on the chin bowl. <laughs> and then when my husband asked me what I wanted for dinner, I was like, the blood of three blind children in a raven's beak. <laughs> He was like, what? I was like, Chipotle, just give me Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you guys. You guys. What? I got a DUI. Oh. No. <laughs> my gynecologist put it in backwards. <laughs> drives the sperm away. That's how it works. And my husband, uh, God bless him, he was like, oh, I wonder why copper. And I was like, because sperm don't like copper, baby. Sperm like gold. On a more serious note, I do want to say something. I have just recently left my service industry job to be a full-time caretaker for my mother. Okay? <laughs> Right, but we're doing okay. I remember uh, when my mom was coming to terms with this. I was laying in bed with her. I was rubbing her back, and she goes, she goes, oh, I, uh, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve your care. I don't. And I was like, of, of course you do, Mom. I'm your daughter. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't you deserve my care? And she goes, because I talk about your weight behind your back. Before 
I could continue. She just kept going. She was like, she was like, oh my god, um, oh my, oh, and your poor father. We don't have sex anymore. It's so fun. Oh I hope god. I'm jerked off in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> what an empath, right? <laughs> what an empath. So sweet. So sweet. I'm like, mom, I'm here for you. Don't worry. I'm here, of course. And yeah, she probably does. <laughs> it's funny about the weight thing, though. It's funny though because you know she had to come to the group to grips with it and so did I honestly like I gained weight over the years and I had to come to grips with the, the change everything changed right so there were ways that I actually learned to really love my body again right boost my self-esteem and there was one thing that really helped and it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be but you know what it was it was porn Okay. Okay. Porn has helped me boost my self-esteem. All you low self-esteemers out there, I got a life hack for you. Okay? I want you to go to Pornhub in the search bar. I want you to type what you are most insecure about for yourself. <laughs> and I guarantee you'll find like the hottest porn ever. Woo! Okay? Millions of views. Millions of subscribers. <laughs> I did this, I looked up overweight white girls, slight androgyny, Jewish nose. Oh my god! Hottest part ever! Whatever you got, you hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. woo! Because here's the thing, because right now, somewhere in the world, someone okay. is getting off to what you fucking hate most about yourself. Woo! <laughs> and that is world peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's helped me. It's helped me get through it, you know? Take for instance, I feel like I could be mistaken for pregnant. I'm not pregnant, but I feel like I could be, okay? I got a bit of a round belly, ain't nothing wrong with that, right? I almost want to be mistaken for pregnant, okay? Because I would want this to happen. Can you please ask me when I'm due? What are you doing? Oh, well, well when was lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Hours ago, okay. Well, any minute now. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we don't we don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl yet, but we do know it's gonna be a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lexi Cosentini.